Hi, I'm Scott Field. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Rotary's R1080 Base Saver 3D. First thing to do is to power on the alignment unit. Then insert the batteries into the measuring heads. And then place them into the mounting brackets on both sides of the lift. Next, we'll attach the targets to the wheels. To do this, use a quick adjustment knob to set the diameter. Then, place the tips of the mounting bracket against the rim edges. Finally, push the tire grabbers in, making sure they are as deep on the tire as possible. Then repeat these steps on the remaining wheels. Different tips and adapters can be swapped out to use the targets on a variety of rims. Once all four targets are in place, remove the lens cap from the measuring head and turn them on by pressing the gray button on top of each detector. A red light will come on and the battery percentage will be displayed. Now, enter the vehicle information into the computer or use the optional scanner to scan the VIN number. Once the VIN is scanned, select the car model and type by using the color-coded keys on the keyboard. You can toggle up and down with the blue and yellow buttons and use the green button to select. After the vehicle information is entered, the screen will show the initial target data. The areas that can be adjusted will have wrenches next to them. And the camera icons mean there are illustrations on how to make the adjustments. To get illustrations, hit F5 on the keyboard. Then hit the yellow button to select illustrations, and the blue button toggles between views. To go back, hit the red button, then hit the green button to continue forward. The next screen that pops up is for rolling compensation. But the way our system works, you can bypass this step for most vehicles by hitting the green button. Now you'll see animations walking you through the final setup of unlocking the turn plates, applying the brake depressor, and jouncing the car. Once done, hit the green button on the keyboard or on the measuring head to move forward. Now just follow the on-screen commands to check caster, and SAI, turning and holding the steering wheel where prompted. When the measurements are done, the screen will display all of the readings, showing you what is good in green and what needs to be fixed in red. At this point, you can print out the results to show the customer. Once you have the OK to do the alignment, hit the green button to move to the next screen. Here, you will be able to see your adjustments being made live. While adjustments are being made on the front of the vehicle, the caster readings are frozen. If you need to make a caster adjustment, you can unfreeze the readings by pressing F5 to index the caster readings and then press the red F1 button. This will allow the live caster adjustment. Once the adjustments are finished, hit the red F1 button to freeze the caster readings and then F5 to index the camber angles. Now, you can re-swing caster to verify that the changes were desired by hitting F1. Also, if needed, the vehicle can be lifted with rolling jacks while adjustments are being made. Once the adjustments are done, the results of the repair can be saved to the hard drive and printed out to be given to the customer. And that's how easy it is to do an alignment with Rotary's R1080.